everybody, Mike McWilliams, Upstairs to the Right Music Channel. Uh, you know, I've got this lovely 1976 uh, Greco uh, Les Paul Custom uh, with its original uh, Super 70 pickups, I have to say. I'm really pleased with that. Those are some great sounding pickups. But what I'd like to do is finish the job on this. This came without a, its original pick guard, and I'd like to put one on. In order to do that, there's a few steps that I have to take in order to make sure that the new parts somewhat match the old ones. Now, the first thing that's pretty obvious here is the white trim on this uh, pick guard. It in no way matches uh, this 48 year old uh, stained binding. So I'm going to show you a trick uh, what you can use in order to uh, achieve a pretty realistic uh, match there. So we'll go through that with these things uh, right here actually. Uh, we'll talk about it in a minute. Uh, the next thing that with this is the uh, bracket. Obviously with the pickups, uh, you can see that it matches pretty good. Back here on the tailpiece, it's a little bit more worn. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to match this to that worn, uh, shiny in some spots, worn in some others, uh, with this uh, bracket. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how we're going to lightly relic uh, this piece so that it at least matches what's going on here with the rest of the body. Okay, in order to do this job, you need a few things. Uh, in order uh, to give a pretty legitimate looking relic job uh, to gold hardware like this, I really found that this uh, 3000 grit wet dry paper soaked for 24 hours. So this has been soaking overnight. So this is one of the things that you're going to need. You're going to need some water as well. So we'll set that aside and we'll let that sit. Um, in order to do the staining for this, uh, one of the best things, you know, people use uh, really strong coffee, turmeric, a lot of things, but really your best bet is this Angelus uh, acrylic uh, leather paint, uh, brown. Uh, this stuff will pretty much will get you in the ballpark. A little bit goes a long way. As a matter of fact, I'll start out by saying that with relicking stuff, in one episode I showed you how to derelic things, take rust off. In this, I'm showing you how to relic things, and a little goes a long way. You want to do a little bit of a move, see how that works, and then proceed from there. So you don't want to really go gung-ho on any of the things we're going to do today. Let's start out by doing the staining for the pit guard. Uh, you're going to need a Q-tip, you're going to need some uh, makeup uh, swabs, and water, as I said. Uh, we'll open up the Angelus. This is pretty delicate work, so that's why I'm using uh, this um, right here. It's a, a good way to get around the corners very easily. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to go around the edge of this. As you can see, a little bit of that went a long way. Just gonna get it to the edge keep it to the edge and then we're going to wipe that off so let's go along the edge and wipe that and as you can see already it's taken a lot of that bright white out so uh, I'm really happy with how this turned out. So I first used the uh, Angela's brown leather and I went around the edge with that and wiped it off. And then after that, I used this uh, color tone, uh, vintage amber, and uh, went around it with the uh, same with the Q-tip and just not everywhere because uh, really with that kind of aging some spots uh, are a little bit lighter than others some a little bit darker so you again like i said a little bit goes a long way and you really just want to try to mimic uh, what you're seeing over with your um, your target which in this case is at 76 greco so i just picked a spot on that in the binding and i tried to replicate that including the wear and tear of dirt it looks, you know, one thing about the uh, Angela's brown acrylic leather, it, it adds that kind of dirty used look like here. So it looks authentic, it looks pretty nice. So that part is done. So we're going to put this to the side. Don't need any of this anymore. And then we're going to move over here. So we're going to do a light scuffing on this bracket here. 
uh, with the wet sand paper that's been soaking, 3000 grit that's been soaking uh, for about a day. And again, like I said, this is another thing where a little bit goes a long way. You're going to use light strokes, light strokes, and really just on the edges. I'm, I, again, with this kind of thing, the wear and tear that occurs, usually there's some bright spots and there's some uh, worn through spots. So you don't want to do the whole thing. You just want to do just the edges. And that was a little bit. I didn't do a whole lot there, but let's wipe that down. And you can already see that that's perfect. It's got a little bit of, of the metal showing through underneath the gold, so that's cool in certain spots here around the edges. It took off a lot of that shine, so it's not as shiny. Uh, maybe hit it one more pass this way just to finish taking that shine out. But that looks really, I did maybe five or six passes on that. And that's all you needed to do in order to relic something like this, your gold plating. Now we'll do the same thing for this side of the bracket. Just hitting up the edges, just a few passes. And I'm happy with that. Maybe it's the it's the bracket on the side so maybe it'll show a little bit more wear so i'll do a little bit more scuffing on the end there but there that took that shine out and it made it look uniform like it's been used slightly scuffed worn here on the edges still shiny here in the middle but it looks like a piece that is not brand new uh, that extends out also to the screws as well. Um, so take the screws out and you can lightly just scuff the screws just a bit. There you go. Taking a little bit of that shine off the screws, wearing those edges. Right, and this one, of course, do the same. Just spin it around your fingers, get the edges mostly. Yeah, look at that. Very nice. So that's it. Uh, essentially, um, with just a few household items, we've uh, done a pretty good job on getting this pig guard ready and this bracket ready to go on the 76 where it looks pretty authentic. I would say pretty spot on, uh, close enough uh, to that 76 where if you looked at it casually, uh, you would think that it's an original part. So uh, let's put this on and see how that, how that worked out. I think it looks really great. I think, uh, again, these look like very, and again, a little goes a long way, guys. I didn't do a lot. One or two passes with the brown acrylic lever um, paint, wipe that off. One or two passes using the Q-tip with the uh, vintage amber, the uh, liquid stain, the color tone, just around, wipe that down a little bit, and that's it. And as you saw, just a few passes uh, with the 3000 grit uh, on this gold uh, finished, uh, gold plated, uh, uh, bracket here just to give it a little bit of an older look uh, So yeah, that came out really nice guys So let's put this on and see how it looks on the guitar see if it matches up nicely All right, so here it is done uh, With the pick guard on it. I think that uh, really With the use of the uh, Angelus uh, acrylic paint putting that first layer on to darken it, wiping that down, and then following up with the uh, color tone, uh, it gives it that, that layered look that looks natural. And just as you can see with a few uh, passes of that 3000 grit white dry sandpaper, uh, I was able to match that really what started out as a very bright gold uh, and toned it down so they matched 
I was aiming for the tailpiece here as the example to try to match, and I think I got pretty close. Even with the screws, uh, they're looking pretty not. This was a brand new screw. Now it looks as aged as the other screws on this. So really, guys, a little goes a long way when you're doing relicking. Uh, just a few simple passes. Uh, do it one pass, wipe it down, see how it looks, and then adjust accordingly. And that goes with everything. A little bit goes a long way. Very subtle things that you're doing uh, to make this match. And again, uh, it's not going to be 100% perfect, but as you can see, the combination of the Angelus and the color tone, uh, you can really get pretty close. I think right here, I got really close to the binding. And again, like around this area, it looks like uh, hand uh, scuff marks from playing. So it looks a little bit worn and dirty. But uh, that's it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let you take a closer look so you can see how that looks. So it came out very nice. Really happy with that. Uh, it, that binding matches pretty well up there with the uh, pit guard cover now. You don't have that bright white anymore going. And in time, it'll darken and it'll look just great. So again, just a few simple things that you can do with gold hardware. Gold hardware really sucks. Uh, people use ferric acid. That's a little bit much, I think, to do something like this. Uh, 3000 grit paper will get you there. And as far as the tinting is concerned, really the combination of these two these are the things that i found that get you closer to that aged look especially on white binding uh, so it's got to be the color tone which is the vintage amber and the angeles brown acrylic leather paint used together and used very sparingly but the results as you can see are not bad so i hope you guys enjoyed this short tutorial on doing a little bit of relicking uh, with gold parts uh, and matching uh, old binding with a new binding, <laughs> basically, uh, and getting them to match a little bit closer with each other. Hope you enjoyed today's uh, show. If you like what you saw today, don't forget to hit the subscription button. If you really like what you saw today, also hit the like button. It takes two seconds to do, and it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Thanks, guys, for doing that, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.